Martin, thanks for the invite today. Tell me a little bit about APH 3G, please. No problem at all. Um, APH 3G is a development company. We do a lot of design, taking customers' parts, then developing tooling, components, fixtures, manufacturing components. Mm -hmm. It's really whatever our customers require. We, we try to carry out those uh, instructions to the best of our abilities. You, you mentioned tooling, predominantly for plastic components. Yes, indeed. We run in-house, we run vacuum forming and rim moulding or GRP laminating. And really, everything is to try and service those industries, whether it's for ourselves or for our customers. For people that aren't aware of those uh, technologies, are we talking about high quality but low volume components? Yes, we are. It's mainly in the low volume niche vehicle areas or adding value to anything that people really wish to change for themselves. And obviously you're a big manufacturer here. You've recently invested in new CAM, new software. So initially, what, why did you look to change? A couple of years ago, we started looking at, we need to free some labor up really from our vacuum forming side. We were trimming all of our components manually and it was taking a lot of our skilled labor to get those components trimmed. So we took the view that we need to automate that process. So in the end, we found the machine that we were after and then it was the software to run it, which we sort of narrowed down to one or two and the software that we felt best served us was Tebis. So APH3G became a Tebis customer in April 2018. Um, to start with they purchased a trim license and a few months after they purchased pattern machining. Around middle of 2019 uh, they also purchased a second module for pattern machining. So Tevis and APH3G have a great relationship and we expect our relationship will continue to grow. APH, they seem very happy with the integration with Tevis. How is the journey for you guys? Yeah, so actually APH have been actually a joy to work with. I mean, it all started um, a couple of years back where they, they came and approached us on the trimming software. Uh, where we came in, demonstrated the software for them, which they seemed very happy with, and uh, the relationship grew from there. And people who will know of Tebis are obviously aware of the, the library system. Is that something they adopt here? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, this is um, it's important for us to, to implement here. Again, you know, uh, the standardization of the process here. They've benefited from a uh, standardized tool library, the virtual machines, which have been measured and will have all the kinematics. Uh, stored in them. We've even done some process templates for them so they can standardize their toolpath on 3D milling. This style of machine they have, they're fairly unique with the knuckle head system and other cam companies couldn't offer the anti-collision but I'm, I'm told that's something that you guys offer with this configuration. What happens is at the end of one toolpath to the start of another, the controller generally takes over the, the position of the machine so you can't always guarantee the, where the position of the knuckle of the head is. So with the virtual machine technology and certainly within the trim software that we have, we're controlling which side the knuckle is on all of the time. We've got full control of it, full interactivity. And even if, you, if you're not happy with the position it's in, you can move it to, to, a, to a good position. Like a, like a digital twin environment? Absolutely a digital twin environment. And this is something that Tebis has been doing for a long time now with this concept. As every day grows in the development of the software, it's just something that becomes more and more important for us. So what was the differentiator? What made them different? What made you ultimately go for Tebis? It was the, it was the all round package really. It was the virtual machine. It was seeing and everything that that machine was doing on the screen. It was getting full control of the head and the knuckle and seeing exactly what was going on at all times and having the ability to just flick it and turn things and do whatever we wanted with that head. So for this configuration machine, you know, anti-collision on the knuckle head, you know, that's key, isn't it? It is. We, we would like to rack several jobs up on this machine in one time. So the ability to have that on the software with all those jobs racked up and to see that there's no collisions, there's nothing going wrong with that at all, it just gives us the, the comfort and the knowledge that what we're doing is going to work. And APH, presumably you're looking to grow, you're looking to prosper. You know, along with Tebis, do, do, do you see that happening? What's the future hold? We do. We've recently just invested in more five-axis software with Tebis for our Ares machine to uh, get the system running at an earlier stage in the full five-axis suite. So for us, we're gaining more control earlier in the stage. We're cutting down our processing times. We're getting everything that we want at an earlier stage. 
thanks to the help of Tevis, we are, we're looking to increase our machining capacity, change our machining capacity as well. With only like go more five axis, and you know that's where we're hoping the partnership with Tevis will go from strength to strength, where they're developing and we're developing at the same time, and everything that we're looking at involves them.